It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from El Brava, Hop Heads of Poland, and it's a bottle of their King of Hop American Pale Ale coming in at 5% ABV. It's 45 IBUs. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm, I'm a big fan of El Brava's beers. Let's get this bottle out into a glass then and see what we get. Woohoo! Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Nice three finger white head developed there. Slightly hazy beer. It's definitely bottle conditioned. There's a lot of conditioning going on. You can see it there. Uh, nice levels of carbonation and you can smell those lovely juicy hops from here. It's and a golden amber coloured ale with a lot of suspended yeast, oh, unfiltered goodness in there. Aroma. Oh yes, that's beautiful. Mmm, really, really good beer then. Judging by the aroma anyway. Slightly spicy, lots of mango, lots of pineapple, lots of grapefruit. It's piney. Oh, it smells great. Got to dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, ho, ho, ho. got to put that down. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an awesome, awesome beer. I'd like to say yes, it's massively bitter, but it's just not about the bitterness of this beer. It's just got a really nice malty beginning that just fends off. It's fending off the hops for this life. It's kind of just batting off the sweetness. He's just holding it off for a split second on your palate. Enough for it to get that lovely multi bready biscuity sweetness through and flavour. It's a little bit of brown bread coming through from the malt as well. You can tell it's a good quality malt, it's a fresh malt. It's it's that what, that only that you can get from, from good floor malted barley flavours. It, it's, it's just fresh, it's lovely. And then, just burping hops now, and then the hops just come piling through. It's like Holdo, Holdo. It's like it's like it's like hold the door. It's like it's like the malts holding the door from Game of Thrones. Hold the door, Holdo. <laughs> and then the zombies are like biting his arm, and rah, and then all of a sudden the hops just come flooding through. When they do this, flavors of grapefruit, pine, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of orange zest. It's it's lemony. There's some kiwi fruit, there's some mango, this piney, and then that bitterness on the back end is just absolutely fantastic. A really top quality brew then. Oh. Wonderful. The drinkability, let's talk about the drinkability because it is 5% ABV and for a beer at 5% ABV you would expect it to be very refreshing and it is. I think the hops can kind of trick you into, into that sense of it being a double IPA because of the, just the amount of hop flavour there. But no, it's it's a, it's a regular, it's a, not even an IPA, it's a pale ale that has got so much hop profile that it's just amazing. And it, it yes, it deserves its name King of Hop. Cracking stuff. Uh, this is this is probably I had the Rowing Jack in 2014. And that was fabulous. But I think for me this might be my favourite beer now from Ale Brava. If I had to choose any of their beers from their 
barley wines to their double IPAs to their 100 IBU crazy mics to to the Rowan Jack to the stouts they do to the porters they do to the barrel aged beers they do I think I think this beer would be if you said have one beer from Ale Brava I think it would be this one I think this is the one I would say do you know what yeah it's wonderful so let's show you a little bit more of the beer and then give it a rating Oh, that was my own fault then for... See, I wanted to get all that beer in the glass. I wanted that goodness. Um, anyway, apart from the mess, that's what it looks like with a little bit more beer in the glass. What the bottom of the bottle looks like. One more taste then. Oh, it's good. It's really good. And a rating. Well, for me, it looks good, it smells good, it tastes good. It tastes amazing, actually. It smells amazing. Um, it's got a lovely body to it. It's very drinkable, very refreshing. Nicely carbonated. Not over-carbonated, but the hops for me just do it. That, that lovely, fresh, hoppy flavour mixed with that lovely malty flavour. It's just it's cracking. It's a really good beer. Really good beer. I'm going to give this full marks. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Reno Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.